Hey guys, welcome back. So, I'll be, I'll be here for me, taking gold once again. I mean, he's just a winner, right? He he loves to win, and I thought he was gonna win from from round two. I mean, just look how he came out. Just lots of uh, kosotos, couple of kosotos. Just as soon as he gripped up, he was going for the kosoto, looking for scores, looking to get out of these early rounds quickly, and he definitely did so. In the first couple of rounds so Abe I'm not sure if he's someone who has like great stamina I think this is kind of his game plan to get people out quickly and save his energy reserves for the later matches but I mean look at this A throw straight into the Osaikomi and I mean his opponent had no no chance whatsoever just grip Kosoto grip Kosoto going for a big throw Saikomi, great. Let's get into the next round. So we're into the next round now. And this one, I mean Abe. I've I've never seen someone defend so well against Abe, to be honest. So Imo Mali from Tajikistan, congratulations, you've done a great job. Defended well against Abe Hifumi, and maybe a lot of us can can learn, you know, what you did and and how to defend his sort of attacks. You see here, Abe going for that Sode or Sodogari kind of mixed hybrid move that he loves to do. His Seori Nagi dropping down there, but Imomari doing well to defend it. Heavy on the sleeve, Imomari, and strong in the position too. I mean, this was close, but I mean, how he didn't get thrown from that is incredible. In my mind, 99% of people would have been thrown by that. Here's that old Chigari that Abe loves so much, grip and go. Takes a sleeve first and then just jumps in there for the old Chigari. Not quite sure if there was a head clash, but Imomali had to get his face wrapped up, which makes things difficult. Taking the top grip now, and this little Kosoto. Almost enough for a score. And we're into golden score now. Looking for the Seoi Nage. Abe Ashido up. And just does enough. Kind of reminds me of Smetov. Is it, you know, Smetov, he ended up throwing someone from this kind of, a, you know, sleeve grip where you pull it, pushing them down into the ground. So we're into the quarterfinal now. Against Manzi from... Italy, but unfortunately for Manzi, I mean, Abe Hifumi, he just kind of runs away, runs away with this contest. And I mentioned it before, Abe, he's got that like sleeve grip that he goes in for an Ochigari, but this time instead of going for the Ochigari, goes in for the, the Ogoshi. So, I mean, these Japanese fighters, I mean, they've just got it all right. Go one way, I'll go the other. I've got something in that direction. And Iwamali, I mean, he looked like he was going to defend the Ochigari. And then Abihifumi just demolished him with a big Ogoshi. Beautiful stuff. Semi final now against Vieru. And Vieru, he's a judoka that I have a lot of respect for. I think he does, I mean, just really clean judo. It looks really good. Similar to Maruyama, but, you know, different techniques. But Abe, once again, just showing that, I mean, he's the level above. Looking for that also the Sori Suri Komigoshi combination that he does. He doesn't, lie, he doesn't mind the close combat situations, but Vieru, if I was Vieru, I would be wanting to be very, very far away. From Abe Hifumi. Abe Hifumi so good in the close quarters. Not quite sure what he was trying here. I mean, Yoko Stemiwaza. Not quite sure that that is one of Abe's techniques, but I mean, if you need to do it to avoid the Shiro, why not? And you see here, Abe not not falling for the Kochigari of Yeru and then getting caught in a similar combination from the quarterfinal. 
looking for that Ochi, going in for the Koshi, the Koshi Waza. 28 seconds on the clock, Vieru looking for something, and Wazari down. And you'll see why here, I mean this is why Abe is the man of the game. He's up on the Shidos, and it doesn't even matter if this attack is terrible, bullshit, whatever you want to call it. So he manages to stay in, and I've got a longer video on this. Uh, I've, I've got a video on the entire match, Abe vs Maruyama. Go have a look at that, but... I mean... I just feel sad for Maruyama watching this match. It's not the greatest counter. It wasn't the greatest match. It wasn't the greatest display of judo. But it is what it is, so... I'll be here for me, guys, World Champion again. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more of the World Championships with me, Judo Highlights. Peace out, guys.